Today we're gonna change it up and actually do some work on my bike. I know it's a little dirty right now, really dirty, but I'll try to give it a bath this weekend. And today we're gonna put on GPR stabilizer, Harley Dyna FX DLS 2016. Probably be the same procedure for all Dynas, I would think. So we're gonna just start off. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up the two bolts on the bottom, take the bars off. I'm gonna just rest them onto the tank. Before we do that, we're gonna undo the wires from, from in here. We'll kind of go over that. Uh, loosen up the clamp, top clamp, take this off. And this, some people have trouble getting this off. Um, mine's a little loose, so this just spins off. Super easy. Mine was actually a little stuck, but um, managed to get it off. So we'll take off that nut right there, slide the upper clamp off. Put the new one on. GPR gives you the top clamp, your stabilizer bracket, and the stabilizer. So it's gonna look good, but I'll get this opened up and we'll start taking the bike apart. All right, so we're gonna start. I'm gonna just pull out these wires. Um, these are just rubber, rubber covers here. Sometimes they're hard to pull out, but for the most part, they come right out. And we're gonna reach up in here and pull out. I got a ton of extra wire in here try to find the connector. Sometimes they're stuck behind other wires back there um, and you definitely don't want to tug on them. So pull this out. It's a little bit stuck in there. Like I said, there's other wires in there that they can get caught underneath and not pull out very easily. So there's the connector for that one. So we're just gonna unplug that. And I'm gonna go do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, so now we're both all disconnected here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the uh, bars off the bike. These are gonna be, what are this, three quarters. Before I do that, what I'm going to do is just throw tank cover on. So if I drop any bolts, I don't damage the tank. So I'm going to just pull these off here. So I'm gonna just loosen them. We also have to take off the, we also have to take off the brake line mount right there. So we're gonna pull that off. It looks like about a T25 or so. So we'll pull that off. We're gonna pull the nut off. And then we have both, both of the, both of the bolts right here to take off. So we're gonna do that. Let's loosen this other one up here. I use a uh, Torx bit to pull this little screw off here for the brake line. Got that off. Next, we're gonna loosen up the steering bolt. Take it off, use a one and a half. And Pretty easy to break free. So we pull this off. 
So let's loosen up our pinch bolts. These are gonna get reused in the new clamp. So we are gonna save these. Pull them all the way out. So one thing I forgot that we're gonna do here is we are gonna lift up the bike a little bit to take some um, tension off of the front forks. So that way when we pull the clamp off, it's not putting pressure on the lower tree. So we're just gonna use our little scissor lift right here. Super handy. Get them on Amazon. Check the link below and it'll show you where to get it. We're not trying to lift the bike off the ground, but we're just gonna take a little bit of weight off of the front. So next we're gonna take off the two bolts. We're gonna take those out. We're gonna lay the bars down. So let's do that really quick. We'll take a shortcut with this and use our DeWalt tool here. Again, this is one of my favorite, favorite tools here. Basically just pop in your bit and get into hard to get to spaces. And we'll pull that out. Like I said, we're gonna reuse all of this stuff. So put it off to the side. Do it on the other side here. I'm gonna hold the bars with one hand. And then we're just gonna rest them down here for right now and I'll move those around in just a second to make some room. So we're going to pull our wiring through the center here. And a, like a bungee cord might help to make sure these don't those don't kind of fall around. Um, so from here, I'm going to pull off the top washers here. If I don't drop them. And then what we can do is start lifting up on the, the top tree here. So both bolts are out. So you just kind of wiggle both sides until you get it off because they're not going to come off evenly. Oh. So that's it. So we're going we're gonna to set up the new one with these the, the bushings here. So these, I believe, the, the center pops out here. like that. And it's good to get these set up before you put it on the bike. It makes it a little easier. So those pop out and then these bushings should come, these bushings should come right out. So there's one and then we can push through on the other one. We're gonna keep these together as a set so we'll just set that like that. And again, on this side, push this one through. So out with the old, in with the new. So here's our new one. Push that in, push it in the bottom. And I think they're the same, so like that and then we'll put our piece in the middle and same thing on this one okay and I all right so now that we've got our clamp set up we're gonna put on our, our bracket for the stabilizer this is gonna be a four millimeter to loosen it so we're gonna set this on here. This will be a kind of a tight fit here. So this is just gonna set in here. You might need to pull the screw all the way, just pull the screw all the way out to give it some room to separate. And 
and we're just going to stretch this over the neck of the bike. And mine's a little bit tight to get on there, but I think it just slipped over. So we're going to try to align this straight with the bike, with the center of the frame here. And I'm just gonna use a kind of a rubber mallet here and just tap it down. And we're gonna get it flush with the top of the frame here, right here at the neck. And I'm a little bit off center, so I'm just gonna tap it until I get it centered with the bike. So that looks pretty good to me. Come down here and find the screw that I dropped. So I'll make sure that it's tight. It seems to be pretty good. So next we'll go ahead and put our clamp on. And then we're just going to take a mallet and we're just going to kind of tap evenly on both sides. So now that we're fully seated down on both sides, we'll take our washer and our nut and we're going to just lightly thread them on there down as about as far as it, it goes by hand and then we'll tighten everything up at the end. All right, so we got that. The next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure to put our, our caps for our bushings on the top. And we're gonna put a little bit of Loctite, put a little bit of Loctite on each bolt to prevent them from backing out. And you see, I just used just a little bit, so just a drop. we'll do is we'll bring our bars back up and thread it in by hand here. All right, so now those are started. We're gonna go back and use our DeWalt here to get them all the way tight and then we'll torque them down with the ratchet. No, that was in there. So that one's not going in very easy, but we'll do this one. And then we're gonna come back to this one and do this one again. So that one's in there now. And then we'll go ahead and we'll just snug them up with the, the ratchet here. And then we'll go back, we'll run our wires back through here. So that's through, and that's through. And 
I'll do this off. I'll do this after the video's done. I don't need to show you guys how to plug them back in. Just make sure you get everything plugged back in to the same spot. We're gonna go ahead and tighten down the the, the pinch bolts here on the side. Mark that got left on there. No, these don't need to be very tight. So don't over tighten them, bend your tubes, or worse, break the clamp. So that one's good. We'll go to the other side and do that. All right, so those are all done. We tighten up our steering stem nut here. All right, so now we got the lock nut, uh, the steering stem nut tightened up. We're gonna go ahead and put our stabilizer on. We're just gonna align this tab with the bracket for the mount and hopefully the holes will line up pretty good these are going to be a five millimeter allen head to mount it all right so we got one lined up and we'll put the other one in so you might have to just adjust it just a little bit to get it to catch. This one's catching pretty easily. And then we'll go ahead and we'll tighten these up here. And that's about it. Let's go put our clamp back on our brake line. Pretty good. But, uh, it's gonna be uh, awesome to ride with this. So I'll tuck all the wires back in, and that's it. It's pretty easy to install.